Hey, what's up? Back at it again with another mail call from eBay. Another vintage toy mail call. And I just want to share with you guys, as always, uh, I like sharing stuff with you guys right when I get it. Because right now, like I said, we're in transition to moving into a new place. So all of our stuff's pretty much in storage in a garage. Uh until we get our own place so I won't really have a place to display it and like I said once again we are in my recording studio because it's so freaking loud in the house and uh, I like a little more quiet and a little more privacy so I found the car is a good place to go but anyways brought to you today we have some Star Wars toys some vintage Star Wars as a lot of you know I just bought a huge lot of uh, like 25 guys and uh, had a video of that up but I just won this small lot off eBay I paid $21 shipped for, let's see, one, two, three, four, five guys. And these are the guys that I got. All the guys I needed, uh, except this one right here. I did get this one in the previous lot that I purchased, but I kind of figured I would just take whoever's in better condition and keep. And I think this one might be. But, uh, you know, we'll see after we clean them up. Uh, I believe this guy's name is Weequay. Uh, he was on a job with Sail Barge, I believe like a bounty hunter type dude. So we got him. And then we got this dude. Old pussy face. Sorry, I can't remember his name. I know that's not Admiral Akbar, but this dude, so the rebel fighter pilot, seems to be in pretty good condition so far. Both the guys, he uh, seem pretty stiff. I mean, it's not like real loose or anything. This guy feels like he needs a little clean, but we have an old Han Solo. Got a little bit of paint rub on his bangs there. But uh, all in all, he looks pretty good. Yeah, he feels a little grimy, but that's all right. And we got another Han Solo, uh, Han Solo and Hoth gear. Uh, this used to actually be one of my favorites. Kind of looks like Captain Cold. But uh, yeah, I really, really like this figure. He uh, He was definitely one of my favorites back in the day. I actually loved all the figures that had to do with anything in the snow. Uh, Empire Strikes Back was my favorite of the three movies. And uh, I loved all that. That was so freaking great. And here's the last figure. Rancor Keeper. Which is really cool. And this is kind of why I bought the lot of all reasons. The Rancor Keeper. And uh, the reason that being is because in the last lot that I bought of like 20 guys... I got a handful of weapons and accessories, and I got this guy's helmet, um, or his, I don't know, it's not really a helmet, but his uh, headpiece, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I picked that up in the lot. I knew what that was from just memory. Um, so I saw this, I'm like, perfect, I'll have uh, an accessory already for him to go, and he was in the lot, so I figured it was a bonus. So I uh, swooped it up. Like I said, $21.50. Well, actually, I paid tax on it too. So it was like $24, I think, shipped, which isn't bad for five guys. Um, that equals out to about $4 a guy um, plus the shipping. So yeah, wasn't too bad. And uh, like I said, uh, keep an eye out. I plan on buying more. Like I said, it's just basically when I find deals on stuff that I really want or need that are almost too good to pass up or pretty good. So uh scored on the star wars uh thanks again for watching guys appreciate it hey what up and we're back again another mail call from ebay this time this is a vintage toy that i used to have as a child and i just wanted to share with you uh the struggle i'm probably going to have with opening this is the most interesting pack job i've ever had on anything delivered to me i don't even know how they did this like i don't even know where to start at um so actually, instead of struggling on camera, I'm just gonna cut to that really quick. So bear with me, be right back. Okay, back already. It wasn't quite horrible, so but we got it here. Got it open, wrapped it up in some newspaper to protect it, which is good. And let me just unravel here, make sure I'm not missing anything. See if he's all in here. This is one really small guy. But yes, he is very small. And he better have his it's there okay all right i'm gonna have to cut into this so you guys can see what the shit is why you would tape saran wrap around it is beyond me 
didn't have to tape it, it would have been fine. Okay, so what we have here, guys, this is from a line of toys from the mid-80s that came out then. Uh, it's called Battle Beasts, all right? Um, so these guys, I'll show you here, I got a little piece of tape on my thumb. Okay, so these guys, all these little crazy animal fighter guys, right? Check him out. This guy's name is Killer Carp, right? And here's his weapon. Sand here. So I had to make sure I got him complete when I bought him. I wanted to make sure everything was with him. He was decent condition because I only wanted to buy him once. And you notice right here in the middle, he's got this little rub thing, kind of like a transformer. And ex uh, that's exactly what it is. Uh, it, it's a rub, and basically you'll apply pressure to it for a little bit or whatever, and it'll change colors and it'll let you know like what type he is. There's like fire, water, whatever. They have like elements uh, that they reveal. Um, but these were really cool. I only had two of them growing up. The other one that I need is get this, uh, this guy's name is Triple Threat Snake. He's got like snake arms, snake head, a uh, little cool guy. And I will definitely show you once I get him. But I just wanted to share this with you guys really quick. Uh, Cause like I said, I'm all about the vintage stuff and getting my toys back. But uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys remember these or not. Battle Beasts, like I said, this guy's name is Killer Carp. And uh, his arms do move here. So both arms move. Legs do not. Solid piece besides the arms, which move one way. But yeah, it's like a little like, feels like a little muscle figure. He's kind of rubbery feeling and texture. Uh, yeah, the paint looks pretty good on this. It looks like he could be cleaned up a little bit. The white is a little bit dirty, but his uh, purple paint's really not chipped or anything. Now, let's see this on the back. It looks like it says 1988. Yeah, 1988 is when this came out, so I was like nine years old. But very cool. Once again, Killer Carp. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.